Happy International Atheist Day 2020. I'm sorry we couldn't be together in person, but our community made the right call and moved the event online. There are more people on the internet anyway. And thanks to this whole self-quarantine situation, I've got a captive audience. So buckle up, because you're about to listen to a millennial discuss the importance of labels. One of the first things I realized after leaving my Christian faith was how amazing the human brain is. When I was a Christian, I was terrified of my brain. It was full of dangerous thoughts, lustful desires, and insufficient answers to important questions. You know the verse, take every thought captive, yada yada. Now that I'm an atheist, though, I'm endlessly fascinated by the power of the brain. After all, brains create gods. One of the most important elements of the brain is its ability to categorize things. Our ability to recognize each other, to predict outcomes, to read literature and appreciate art, to build community, is a result of this superpower. And it is a superpower. Brains are better at categorizing than they are at almost anything else, and they do so at a subconscious level. When we do become aware of it, and when we harness it for our own ends, it becomes even more powerful. But we know this. Religions have been doing this for a very long time, and to great success. They categorize things into very simple, dogmatic boxes, and then they label those boxes. Right and wrong, good and evil, dark and light, saved and damned. Going outside those boxes is literally unthinkable. If you are not one, then you are by default the other. You know the verse, he who is not with me is against me. The practice of labeling other people is dangerous. The most horrendous atrocities in history were predicated on this practice. Those in the halls of power labeling the people who stood outside. Sometimes it was intentional, sometimes it was instinctual, and often it was a combination of both, but no matter what the motive was, the outcome was always the same. Disenfranchisement, discrimination, suppression, and a lack of equality. Atheists have experienced this for a long time and continue to to this day. Here in America, we are underrepresented in our government bodies. We are routinely erased from the social and political spheres we occupy. And our ways of life are encroached on daily by religious overreach at both the state and federal levels. Depending on where we live, we are called dangerous, perverted, demonic. We are shunned from our communities, kicked out of our houses. Internationally, the story gets even more grim. If you are unlucky enough to be an atheist in some countries, your citizenship can be revoked. You can be beaten, kidnapped, imprisoned, even executed by your own government, simply for thinking freely. Now, considering the painful experiences with labels that atheists have had, it makes sense why we would instinctively reject them. Labels are dangerous. They cause division. They encourage myopic thinking and stymie independent perception. And this is all true when labels are applied to us by others. But there's a whole other side to this story, one which we would be foolish to ignore. The power of labels to create movements and demand attention. We often make fun of Christians for their many denominations. And anyone who comes from a religious background knows you aren't just a Christian, right? You're a Protestant or a Catholic or a Mormon. You're a Methodist or an Episcopalian or a Presbyterian or a Southern Baptist or a non-denominational follower of Jesus Christ, like I was. But when it comes time to be counted, to exert their will on the rest of the world, they know how to let go of those differences and stand together as Christians, as theists. That's the label they use to get shit done. And it works. Us? We're also not just one thing. We're agnostics, free thinkers, skeptics, secular humanists, Satanists, brights, and religious nuns, to name just a few. But until we have that banner to unite under, until we have that one label that when push comes to shove we can stand behind and shout with one voice, then we're going to remain scattered, uncountable, 
and powerless to exert our influence to change the world. And I'm not saying that atheist has to be the label we use, but it is a good one. It's honest, it's straightforward, it's inclusive, and maybe most notably, it strikes fear into the hearts of our opposition. If they are going to make us into monsters who possess supernatural powers of darkness, I say, why don't we use that to our advantage? They've given us a lot of power with this label. Power we didn't ask for and frankly we don't want. But you know the verse. With great power comes great responsibility. Perhaps the most important thing we can do with this power is to make something necessary and beautiful. A world that does not, cannot, hide behind holy edicts to mask hate and fear. And maybe in the future, we can get to a place where each one of us will be known only for our unique selves, leaving labels far behind. I would like to work towards that future. But we aren't there yet. I know that's an exhausting thing to hear. We always seem to be not quite there, and we're tired of almost. I get it. But we need to play by the rules that society has set up, the rules that are supported by our evolutionary psychology. Until this future comes to pass, we are fighting against those who would like nothing better than to keep those boxes, that binary kind of thinking, firmly in place. We need to organize. But before we can do that, we need to categorize. We are atheists. We are a community. And we will be counted.